now when I rewatch the film, that's all I'm gonna see. I know. <laughs> Guys, can you sing it for us for a bonus point? Oh, okay. We're about to have some fun right now. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Isis Miller, and I'm the Community and Events Manager for Black Girls Code. It truly warms my heart to welcome you amazing girls to our Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey Holiday Party. You're already making my spirit bright with your festive sweaters and your beautiful faces. Today, we are honored to have Lynn Sisson Talbert, the producer of Jingle Jangle, and Diana Bobnikova, who played young Jessica. Lynn and Diana, meet our student ambassadors for Black Girls Code all of whom have worked so hard this year to empower girls to pursue their passion for STEM. So let's jump right into it. So we're gonna play a little holiday trivia game. This is how it's gonna work. I'll ask a question related to the holidays, like what is a gingerbread house made out of? And if you know the answer, obviously it's gingerbread, you'll raise your hand, I'll call on you, and then you can unmute yourself and you'll be able to ask our cast some questions. You ready to play some trivia? Okay, sweet. We're gonna complete the sentence. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. Alyssa, I saw your hand first, go for it. But the fire is so delightful. Delightful it's indeed, yes, girl. Yeah. All right, so do you have a question for Lynn or Deanna? What was your favorite part of the film? I really love to watch the tunnel scene when they're going through the tunnel, saving Buddy, and it's like a roller coaster ride because it's so intense, you're just like, <gasps> You know, everything comes so close to when they're about to hit something. You're like, <gasps> so I kind of like that. I really like that scene as well. <laughs> okay, next trivia question. What famous holiday drink is called milk punch? Ooh, Camille, your hand went right up. Okay. I believe it's eggnog. Fantastic, nailed it. I wouldn't have known that. I'd be like, milk punch, gross. <laughs> <laughs> Was there any, um, humorous behind the scenes that any of the cast had. There was a moment where we had to do a very serious scene, but I just couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> um, when Don Juan gets stolen by Mouse, we have to run up being really, really sad. But I just ran out and started laughing. Thank God I could hide my face into her coat. So I was like... <laughs> <laughs> I know, it really looked like she was just crying her eyes out, but she was hiding there, <laughs> trying not to laugh. It was something sad. I was supposed to be crying. You didn't say which way. <laughs> that's right. That was perfect. I love hearing the bloopers because now when I rewatch the film, that's all I'm going to see. I know, <laughs> I know. Were you ever nervous or like at a scene or in a part? Yeah, that, there was some parts where I was nervous, but I don't take nerves as a bad thing. I take it as something to drive me through the scene. So I take it as it means that I actually care about it. So then if I'm nervous, I just use that to embrace the character more. That's some really good advice. I wish you were there to help me talk me through my moments of nervousness where I'm just like profusely sweating like I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like misty glow on my face. <laughs> so next question, and this is probably my favorite. All I Want for Christmas is You is the biggest selling holiday song of all time by a female artist. Can you name that singer? Camilla, I saw you, girl. I see you. Go for it. Um, by Mariah Carey. Yes. Can you sing it for us for a bonus point? <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, I won't do that to you. That's Mariah. She has too much range. <laughs> okay. So I rewatched it multiple times and kind of on each run, I noticed something new about it. So on the second run, I started noticing kind of like the instrumentals and the music that was being played. Do you have any like insight on explaining some of the instrumental or music choices? So we had an amazing composer named John Debney who did the score for the film. You know, music is very important in a film because it takes you in all different directions and you don't even realize it. If you watch dialogue in a film or you're watching you know two actors engage you may be sitting there feeling one way when you're watching it and you're like okay and then as soon as they lay a bed of music on it it takes you somewhere else completely music will always help with that just like when you're watching and you hear you see that snowball scene and you hear the music that boom 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 you like oh we're about to have some fun right now, you know? But then when you hear 
the music when they are just now bringing Buddy after they've taken him from Gustafson's to put him back together. It's like, oh, you know, it's heart wrenching. All right, well, we're gonna wrap it up because that's all the time that we have for today. Of course, thank you all for making this holiday party so fun and merry and bright. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Deanna, for joining us. And of course, for making Jingle Jangle because it's amazing. <laughs> thank you for thank our you. ambassadors for all you do to inspire us and inspire all the girls around the world to follow their passion. And just to show you how thankful we are, Netflix will be sending all of you guys holiday presents. So look out for that. And we hope that this gift plus Jingle Jangle itself will mean a happy holiday for all of you and for all of your family. And again, my name is Isis Miller. I'm the Community and Events Manager for Black Girls Code. Thank you, Thank you Lynn. Thank you, Deanna. Bye. Thank you. Happy holidays, girls. <laughs>